Hello everybody. I know it's been a long time. I've been out very busy working on some really cool projects that have left me little time for posting videos, but I've had a lot in my mind uh, during the last year and a lot of things I wanted to experiment with and test and try out. So I've decided to go ahead and start posting some of the videos as I research and experiment. Uh, just going all the way back to the beginning of my YouTube channel when it was really about journaling uh, my progress and experimentation. So expect to see more videos as I continue to experiment and test out ideas. And uh, the last video I put up over a year ago was this little tritium motor. And uh, it's run nonstop for the last year. And considering the half-life of tritium, this thing's going to run a long time more. So it's been a great success. So I've had questions in my mind about uh, the lens effect. And uh, this is a pretty popular effect where you drop a magnet down a copper pipe. And uh, it falls slowly because of lens law. And uh, it's pretty interesting stuff. Uh, it's a pretty well-known effect. It works with conductors uh, such as copper and aluminum. But the question that I've had, that I've done a little bit of Googling and have not come up with answers right off, but I've had questions about doing that with graphite. So I took a, one of the um, carbon graphite rods that I used in the air batteries, and I drilled this out on my metal lathe to create a tube of the same length and dimension as these other uh, metal tubes. And uh, tell me what you think. Before you uh, see the results in this video, leave a comment as to what you predict. Uh, will this fall through slowly, similar to copper? Or is it going to fall through fast? Because that's what I've been wondering. All right, so let's test uh, these conductors. And you'll see here that the um, carbon graphite just does an excellent job. It holds up uh, right alongside the copper. So you can see that all three are excellent conductors. So the question is, we all know that the magnet falling down the copper pipe is going to go, uh, you know, very slowly. But uh, go ahead, leave a comment in the section here before you get to this point in the video. What's your prediction? Do you think this is going to fall uh, at free fall speed? Is it going to fall slowly as it did in the copper? I didn't really know, and that's the reason I wanted to do this experiment. So, the moment of truth, it falls fast. I'm going to line this up in the video editor and see if it's actually at free fall speed. But uh, it just flies right down this as if, you know, it's not even there. So completely different than uh, the copper. So that's why I like doing these experiments, you know. I've been wondering about this. Uh, I, this brings up more questions. Uh, if I was to make a coil out of uh, graphite, you know, a perfect conductor, but make a coil. And if I energize that coil, will it make an, ele an electromagnet? Will it turn the needle on a compass? Uh, based on this result, I almost feel like uh, it would just make a heater element, but uh, everything else that I know tells me it should make an electromagnetic field. The other thing I'd like to experiment with is generator coils. I would like to make generator coils um, out of carbon or graphite and you know, bring a magnet by them and see how well of generator coils uh, we can make out of this material. Uh, it would be interesting to know in a small system, like a motor or something of this nature, if you couldn't actually use uh, graphite uh, coils and wires uh, to accomplish the same thing I'm doing here with the copper. And would there be any advantage? Uh, is there some lens effect uh, that's adding drag uh, in systems like this just from the material? And uh, you can kind of see where I'm going to be going with some of my uh, experimentation along those lines. So yeah, I want to experiment some more with magnets, with different materials. I really want to experiment some with magnets and pyrolytic graphite. So uh, it's really interesting things you can do there as well. But anyway, uh, this video is just a quick update. It's just a little video journal as I answer one of the questions I had. You know, I really had no idea whether this would fall through full speed or whether it would fall through slowly. So. Seeking your own answers. That's what this is all about. Let's all keep experimenting and sharing, and we'll go from there.